Hello everybody, Storm here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, we continued with, you know, the war that's been going on for a while. And that's going to be a theme, you know, as we continue to fight wars. And the, you know, archaeological sites being worked on, the Screeching Abyss, not the Screeching Abyss, the AMG Singularity is continuing its progress a few hundred days remaining that should be done relatively soon the attack moon has finished its construction and i have decided to merge that into the first fleet so it should be on its way i believe It's somewhere. There it is. It's in the Bernard Star system. So there it is. And, uh... Yep. We're going to be building more of those over time. Um... But for now, I think we're going to limit it to that one, one of the first fleets. And the other fleets will be just expanded to their designated sizes. Looks like the second fleet needs to run through a second tier of upgrades. Go for it. But we're starting to get some fleets finish their upgrade process. The 8th fleet and the ninth fleet appear to be done. So that's good. We're getting troops landed, planets occupied, all those sorts of things. So we're just going to keep on going. I believe I checked this at the end of the last episode, but I'm going to double check it again. That one's not ready. This one is ready, and I think I've actually scheduled in that landing, right? Yes, we have landing craft dropping in. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. This should go relatively quickly. Construction complete. Nope, oh, that's over. Okay. Construction complete. Our warriors are victorious. And Our bases are finishing. You get some more anchorages. Upgrade. I don't know. Uh -huh. Two anchorages and then upgrade. All right, so that's done. We'll move the fleet onto the next system. New routes. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Right, energy weapon attack speed. Energy weapon damage. 
This was Spirits of the Fires, Blast Furnace produces Unity. Kinetic Artillery, Mining Station Output. Well, we want to prioritize anything that's, that's an upgraded piece of equipment. Guess we'll go with the Kinetic Artillery. Cycling campaign and the education campaign. Yeah. Recycling campaign, consumer goods reduced. Yep, we'll just keep maintaining those edicts. Fleet. Okay, I'm not worried about that. This is an Ecumenopolis? Hold on. It is. It is an uncolonized. Alien Ecumenopolis. Very interesting. Didn't even realize. Well, let's send some people there. Let's make those humans. If I can find them. I think I already passed them. That's interesting. We also have this asteroid habitat, which I could probably colonize as well. We'll also send humans there. These planets also need to be colonized eventually. The thing I don't know if this is going to need any further upgrades once this is done. Because I have started the construction of that orbital
Orbital Shipyard. Construction site. our spaceport scientific breakthrough achieved all right there's our kinetic artillery cruiser hull points l gate insights I our do you want to work on that at some point crystal forge plating 2 let's grab the crystal forge plating 2 Amoebas. I don't have a fleet anywhere near there. They could potentially deal with that. Alright, that's ready for occupation. I think the station may be able to deal with it. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. Maybe. To get the devastation up to 100% before we can start really grinding those armies down. Our warriors are victorious. Enemy planet conquered. There we go. Let's bring this over to this system. Ice asteroids. Let's head over there and let's see what we can do with that, if anything. Just double checking to make sure I didn't have any. Ah, because I was wondering about the Trappist 1C situation that we had last episode. I think this is it. Alright, the infected have finished construction. The last viable portion was a radio transmitter dish and activated shortly after completion, sending out a gargantuan amount of data into space. At some point, the virus was completely expunged from the bodies of the infected with an automated inoculation system. Those cured of the disease have returned to their original personalities and claim almost no memory to what has transpired. The current theory is that this device converted the virus's constituent components into coded electronic information, then transmitted this to some unknown location. 
We're left with more questions and answers, along with a very large, very useless radio transmitter. Well. Good riddance. Plus one trade value. I'll take it. I guess. Construction complete. Oh. Four star bases just finished construction. Alright, that one's done. So is that one. So is that one. And that one. Actually, is that one done? Yes. Do we still have unupgraded stations? I think the only ones that are unupgraded are ones that I currently occupy and don't control. Construction complete. Speaking of sentient metal, just double checking to make sure that nobody scientific breakthrough achieved needs any further upgrades in that regard. That one does. Queue up some more replacements for these robot assembly plants. And the Varnia sector. What technology do we get? We got the fleet command limit increase by plus 10. Uh, I guess we'll take the edict duration plus 10%. Yeah, we'll just keep working through whatever is the cheapest. doing on the uh, the singularity the penrosphere 14 days excellent I would like you to upgrade and I also want you to build some defenses which we can't of a new world has begun because we don't have this ancient metal Oh, 
Oh, I shouldn't have clicked on that. But it's done. All right, new research. The conquest of a new world has begun. Okay. Looks like we actually do have some more upgrades to do. Okay, that's for building the habitable segments of the ring world. Alright, well, I guess we'll just keep on working on that. We'll get around to that Neutronium Gigaforge at some point. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Alright, let's see. Armor hit points plus five. Robot modification points. Defense army health. Psionic thrusters four. Yeah, I guess we'll grab the psionic thrusters. Actual con oh yeah. Prime Actuators has declared war on our Federatus, the Photician Corporation. Prime Actuators declared war on the Photician Corporation. What? Well, that can't be allowed to stand. What is this? Robot Uprising. All right, dispatch the fleet. Actually, can you upgrade very quickly? Thing with you. Actually, those upgrades are minor. Dispatch them. Machine uprising in the Fetishian Corporation. No, we're not going to see how this plays out. We have we have a war to fight. We have established a new planetary base. All right, Fison Prime. All right, they're going to take two hundred and thirty three days to get there. The uh, enemy is targeting one of our stations. Construction complete. And you're going to take 553 days to get there. Well, they'll just have to hold out until we arrive. Seven Fleet's a little busy. Actually... Are these guys ready for occupation? They are ready for occupation. Mm 
now. Can my troops actually land on these things? Nope. Okay. Well, we're not going to worry about it. Let's have them head over here. Initiating ground assault. Victory shall be ours. Construction complete. Done. Well, I think we're just going to keep on this project. Two of my fleets should be sufficient to deal with the robot uprising. At least I hope, anyway. Now, the Pilgrims. I guess we can dispatch them as well. Construction complete. Send them into the region. route in Groombridge 34 system is under attack. Um... I guess we'll have Zarklin's Pilgrims deal with that real quick. And then move on. Battle is joined. Ships have engaged. All right. Well, they dealt with it. Construction complete. We didn't lose any of our ships. Very good. You guys even need repairs? They don't. Construction complete. I'm gonna check all this construction. That's done. That's done. Done. All right, those star bases are all done. Excellent. Okay. 
A fleet will be there in 120 days. They'll be able to be uh, kind of the first response here. You can actually order replacement ships. Well, no, we can't. Never mind. Feeling as the order has completed their gateway. We have a very powerful military star base here in the Screeching Abyss system. In fact, I'm going to order an ion cannon constructed. So this system should be fine. Yeah, it's only 12,000. 37,000. We'll be able to deal with that. All right, but we're at the end of the episode, so we'll go ahead and stop here. Looks like we got some stuff to deal with. And how are things going here? Minus 18. We're getting closer. So... We'll keep on working next episode. So for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.